The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, welcome all of you. This is the presentation from the Shorter University. Linda and Dr. Hooper are here to present and they'll be telling everything about the university, the requirements, the courses, and how can you get the entry there. So over to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us today and let us share with you um, all the things that you can uh, have access in our institution. As um, it was said, we are uh, representing Shorter University in Rome, Georgia, uh, which is um, an hour north of Atlanta. And we have um, a good uh, video to show you of our uh, campus. And just, there you go. I think this is the best introduction that we can have to show you our campus. So um, that's our beautiful campus, and here you have our exact location. As you can see, we are very close to Atlanta, uh, the capital of Georgia, also from Birmingham and Chattanooga in uh, Alabama and Tennessee. So our location is, is really good and something that the international students really appreciate um, because they have the, you know, a quiet atmosphere to follow you know classes and to study but then when they want some entertainment they have easy access to these big cities um this is a little bit of our numbers um we have more than 20 nations represented we are very uh, well known in the south of the united states as you can see we were founded in 1873 and we have were part of many uh, rankings. Uh, we are <clears throat> a member of, um, is ranked in the best Southern College by the Princeton Review. That's one of the rankings that we are uh, part of, but also we are, we will be named one of the safest colleges in Georgia and uh, one of the best regional colleges in the South. And you have uh, all the other rankings that we are part of. Uh, we have many academic programs that are quite prestigious. Um, I have highlighted the ones that seem to be more popular with international students. Um, next to me is Dr. Hooper, who is the Dean of the College of Business. He's gonna go into more detail about the business programs, but um, in addition to the uh, business programs, we have uh, a strong academics programs in biology, in pre-med, pre, -med, pre uh, health uh, occupations. Um, we have, as you can see in, our, in, your, in this slide, 86% of acceptance rate in medical schools, uh, whereas the uh, national average is 50%. So we're very proud of that. And that's one of the most prestigious and um, um, 
demanding programs that we have, but our international students really appreciate those. Um, they really, you know, seem to like those programs. Uh, one of the strengths that we think that uh, Shorter University has is that we have a really small ratio. Uh, students uh, are part of small classes, so that gives that one-on-one -on -one interaction that is so valuable when you're in a different country, in a different culture. You can see the ratio is 15 to 1. Um, we are, we are uh, a small school, but we have a big diversity population, but diverse population, and you have some of the countries that we have represented there. Um, many of our professors uh, have their doctoral degrees from very prestigious universities, as you can see there. Um, and also, we are of we have many staff and faculty from different countries. Myself, I'm from Argentina, and we have other faculty and staff from China, France, Cuba, Kenya. So um, we are proud of our diversity and multicultural profile. Uh, we have many um, resources that are really valuable for international students, one being the writing center for uh, not native of um, speakers of English. Uh, we have tailored academic advising for international students, counseling service, uh, great new facilities that are located within walking distance from our dorms. We have career development center that helps the students how to build a resume, how to apply for jobs. Um, we have internships, placement services. Dr. Hooper is going to go into detail, more detail into that. And we have a physician and nursing services on campus. Um, we have really modern uh, on-campus houses, like I said, accommodations that are within walking distance, that's, which is really convenient for international students. Most of them are required to live on campus. Uh, we provide a 24-7 emergency phone contact for international students. We provide transportation to the airport and from the airport. Um, we provide uh, programming, recre recreational activities, uh, legal advising, and everything that we can do to help international students be successful while they're at Shorter University. These are some um, of our current and recently graduated international students. Um, uh, Talha from Pakistan, Ani from Guatemala, and Sukwina from uh, Jamaica. And as you can see by their statements, they are they really value the family atmosphere and the one-on-one -on -one interaction. And that is something that is valued not only by the students, but also by the parents, because they are not lost in the mix. Um, being in a small institution allowed us to provide that um, personal interaction that has really helped international students reach their full potential. These are some of the pictures of our, you know, dining hall with the, with the flags. And uh, we, as we, as I told you, the uh, pre-medicine, uh, pre-physical therapy, et cetera, majors are really significant. So you have some pictures of our labs and um, study groups. We are a pre-nursing major and nursing school is really prominent as well as we have quite a bit of international students in those programs as well. And now Dr. Hooper is going to tell you a little bit about our master's programs in the business field. So good evening to you guys. Good morning to us. Um, talk a little bit about the College of Business and our graduate degrees that we offer is, as Ms. Palumbo said, as Linda stated, um, our College of Business, we have a lot of undergraduate degrees um, in accounting, management, marketing, economics, sport management. And then we have our graduate degrees, which our students can go straight into from the undergraduate. And these can, can be completed with a year, year and a half. Um, all of these courses um, can be taken on campus. And the programs that we offer for the graduate degrees, we have an MBA, which is the Master of Business Administration. It's one of the most pre prestigious degree programs available in the country. It really allows students to gain the business experience to be successful once they do graduate and begin a career. Um, we have two other options within the MBA. We have a Master's of Business Administration and a Healthcare Management concentration. So along with you know the pre-nursing and the pre-physical therapy and all that, we want to offer a healthcare administration aspect to our business degree. And then we have a Master of Business in Sport Management as well. 
if you want to go into sports or into event facility management, um, go into athletic administration, you know, we have those options as well. And then we have the master of management, which is another degree option. If you want to go more towards the management aspect, um, strategic, ethical management, et cetera. Um, one thing that we do offer for our graduate degree programs, and if we want to especially accommodate international students with this, is the internship opportunity. Um, to kind of explain that, you are allotted an opportunity to gain practical work experience while completing your master's degree. Um, this is very beneficial to you because you can be in school and also gain work experience in America. Um, it allows you to gain, you know, the business aspects that you would not gain in the classroom and kind of the two go hand in hand. Um, so that's something that we have newly created for international students to try to draw that appeal. Um, and so far, it's been great. Um, we're really looking forward to working with a lot of new students and, you know, setting them up for internship opportunities in the area. This is something that we can help you with um, when you get here in the States and to Georgia and to Shorter, we can help set up the internship opportunity for you with our local organizations. And then the other degree is the Master of Management with a concentration in Human Service Nonprofit. Um, just one of our other opportunities there for a graduate degree. Um, as I stated, all the graduate programs can be completed in 12 to 18 months, which really, you know, sets you up for a successful career. And now, um, in, let's talk a little bit about numbers. Uh, as you can see in the slide, those are our tuition fees for undergrad and for graduate. Uh, we are very proud to offer really competitive costs. Uh, where we do that on purpose, um, and that's quite a challenge being so close to Atlanta. But we're very proud to keep the cost low to really, you know, um, draw more international students. As you can see, uh, the tuition for the whole year in the undergraduate is twenty one three hundred. Room and board for the whole year is ninety four hundred. Uh, general fees for 30 and books and miscellaneous uh, less than four thousand uh, dollars the graduate uh, degree is also very popular because it's a really low cost uh, the tuition cost for the whole program is 15 to 30 and that's the only amount payable to shorter so as you can see it's really competitive um, we require the students to pay um, each semester the full amount before they start classes Uh, in terms of the scholarships, we do offer them just for undergraduate students because, as you can see, the graduate fees are really competitive. So we don't have that um, that room to offer scholarships, but we do offer scholarship for the undergraduates. And the requirements are, as you can see uh, here, is 5% of all the international applications that we have, the admissions committee really decides how much uh, each one of them get uh, depending on academic standards and achievements. And the range is around 10% of the cost of tuition for one, for a year, all right? And if you do, if the students get a scholarship, they get notified before the I-20 is issued. These are the requirements for undergraduate admissions. Um, um, we require um, official transcripts to be sent to World Education Services, Joseph Selney. Uh, we also need official uh, test scores for your English proficiency. And you can, uh, these are the list of the uh, different tests that you can uh, provide us with. You just need to choose one of them and you have the minimum requirements there. As you can see, the IVT 61 is really you know, um, um, reasonable. The same uh, with the PTE, the person test of English, which we have recently accepted. And it seems to be really popular around the world because it's easier um, to take. For graduate admission, um, one of the key points is that we don't require the GRE or the GMAT. Uh, the IBT is. Um, 68 if it's taken within the last two years and um, we also accept the uh, PTE uh, and else you have everything in there 
in terms of financial support documentation that you would have to provide us so we can issue the A20 after you've been admitted. Uh, these are the kind of acceptable documents. It's a pretty regular standards uh, like any other institution. We ask uh, certified bank statements or an official bank letter uh, or the financial certification form that every school has signed and stamped by the bank's official. We do offer conditional admissions. So if the student uh, meets all the academic requirements uh, for admission except for English proficiency, we issue uh, a letter saying that uh, the full acceptance is deferred upon completion of that requirement. Uh, they, the students can can um, take the exam the exams that we we uh, listed, or they can go to different ESL centers. We have a few that we uh, refer the students because they are you know in close distance to our college. One of them is Kennesaw State University. The other one it's in downtown Atlanta, Georgia Tech Language Institute. But if uh, the students are in different other ESL centers throughout the United States we do accept them, which is compare which level the student met in those language centers, and we see if that meets our minimum criteria. And this is just the contact information. Uh, of course, you're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna make that available and you can um, uh, write it down, but um, that's pretty much the, the end of a presentation. Another contact information is uh, the person in, in, in charge of undergraduate admissions and the person in charge of graduate admissions. You have their faces there and also their contact information. Uh, these are the different uh, social medias that we have. I hope that you can follow us so you can uh, be informed about all the things that are going, are going on on our campus um, because we really, uh, use it a lot to communicate all the exciting things that we have to offer here. Um, so that's um, the end of our presentation. So now we're going to open the floor to any questions that you may have. Hello. Am I audible? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Hi. Hi. So now we are having the students who would like to ask the question. All right. Uh, yes. Could you please uh, let me know what uh, should be the criteria for scholarship options, ma'am? Yes. We look into the test scores um, and also we look at the the personal essay that you had to write when you apply and just to kind of explain how you know how articulated the student is to to explain the career goals what is it that the student wants to accomplish by obtaining you know a career in a certain discipline uh, the academic achievements that the students may have accomplished while in high school etc the need of the student you know uh, they explain uh, why they need that scholarship in the essay so we really take a look at the whole picture it's not just one thing we don't go by numbers only but also we take um, the application as a whole thank you ma'am hello ma'am my name is asmit joshi actually i want to ask one question yes Actually, I want to ask one question. What is the placement opportunity in USA? What is the placement in the internships? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dr. Hooper, can you give some examples of that? Yeah. So with the placement, we try to stay local just because of transportation purposes. So whatever your degree is in, for example, if you're doing a master's of business administration, we would try to place you within a business organization in Rome or within the surrounding area that is close enough, you know, for transportation purposes. Um, I would sit down with you personally one-on-one -on -one, and go through five or six options that we have for internship placement and you figure out which one you wanted to do best and what would be best for your career opportunity. 
Now, for example, if you were doing healthcare management or sport management, we would focus more specifically on the health or the sport aspect. Um, but you and I, as the dean, would sit down one-on-one -on -one to discuss where you would be placed and where you would want to work. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hi. Hello. So uh, actually, my question is that I'm actually very much confused about these specializations, so whether to select marketing or finance. So does that uh, like adverse effect on my career in future? The selection criteria. The selection criteria for a marketing degree. Or, uh, the selection criteria between the marketing and finance. So does oh, it really marketing and finance. Right. Really yeah. Yeah. So with the undergraduate degree, it's a Bachelor of Business Administration degree. So yeah. that's the degree you're getting. And then the concentration, um, marketing or finance, you would take more courses for whichever one you decide to go into. Now you're getting both aspects within the degree. Um, within the business degree, you gain the accounting, the economics, the marketing, the management, the finance. Whichever one you choose to concentrate on, that's the upper level classes that you would take for that degree. All right. um, so whichever one you felt more um, obligated to is what, is, is what we would set you up with. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, sir. Uh, hi, ma'am. Hello. Hello, uh, my name is Gandharv. Actually, my major concern is like, uh, we are hearing the rumors about Donald Trump and his uh, policies he's gonna take now. So will that affect us uh, Indians for that? Oh, you're saying the current politics of our country? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, actually, no at all. Um, that's one of the myths that is going around that um, there's some kind of change towards, you know, the behavior and reactions to international students. If anything, everybody's showing more support okay. because okay. we understand that uh, the international population coming to the States to be educated is a key. Okay. Uh, to our uh, economy and also to our institution because we really appreciate the intercultural um, enrichment that that provides. So in my opinion, I'm international as well. And I can tell you I've been here for 15 years. Okay. And I, uh, I feel totally welcomed. And the same uh, with our international students. Um, they feel that um, they're really supported at Shorter. Like we said, we are a small family. We have over a thousand students, so we're small for U.S. standards, and that really provides that support and um, containment. I would guess um, that the international students really enjoy. So no, my uh, my personal opinion is that no, uh, I haven't seen that. If anything, I've seen actually the opposite. Everybody trying to reach out and making an extra effort to, to let the international students know that they are totally welcomed. Okay. I hope I answered your question. Yeah, of course, ma'am. I'll just turn on a webcam once and you can see the people sitting around. Okay? Okay. I turn it off. Turn it on. Just turn on. Again, again, the network issue, I'm just trying to connect. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Linda. Hello, both of you. Yes. Hi. I'll I'll just show hey. you that. Hello. 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 Escape. Escape. Yeah. Okay. There you and go. And for the um, webcam, the little blue star. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah. There oh, go. there you go. Hi. Hey. I'm glad that I have Doctor Hooper here with me. He's helping me with the tech. <laughs> He's a businessman. Good to, <laughs> good to see you all this afternoon. Hi. That's way better to get to see your faces. Right. So I just Big want group. to turn it on oh. at last so that you can see the students sitting here. And many of them had joined online also. Okay. Yeah. So well, that was a great yeah. presentation. And most of them having the same questions were already asked by other students. Okay. Okay. I well, uh, we, we really that. appreciate that you let us, you know, tell you a little bit about shorter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Again. Uh,
Hello? Am I audible to you? Yes, we're here. We're just... okay. Yes, yes. Yes. So, like most of them have the same questions what they asked and you were pretty much clear with your presentation. So, like now whatever questions they'll be having, we'll be sharing your IDs with them and they can further communicate with you. Right. Yes, please do so. Right. And you have my information, Dr. Hooper's information and also uh, the the personnel in charge of international admissions, both for graduate and undergraduate. But again, any questions that you may have, we're happy to answer them. Right, right. Even they are happy to see the presentation and knowing about the university. And I hope soon, like a uh, few of them would be like applying to the university and would be further communicating with you. Yeah, that would be great. Right? We're looking forward to Therefore, receiving you. Anything you, you have, sure. like anything uh, do you have for me? I sh shall I answer something that you want from my end? Um, I guess that uh, uh, Study Metro will just uh, continue to share if there's any interest. How do the students contact directly to us or they contact you and you would send us um, that um, question or how does it work? Right, definitely whatever they feel like, we'll be sharing your information and if they are coming to us, we'll be like directing them to you that way also. Right? right. And look for, right. for your for, for the great relationship with you and your institution that way. Yes. I really hope, we hope so too. Right, right. And so you have a great day ahead and I believe we should stop here and could continue later on with the applications and all if we have for the university that way. Right? All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you so much. Sorry? Thank you. Thank you to have you. Have a great night. And you have a great day ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.